Hi, Janelle here with Sheep Hill Herbs. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. It is a great day. Every day is a great day if we decide to make it a great day. I hope you're having a great day. So it is Monday and I was trying to establish names for the days when I post videos. I wanted to call this Money Monday because this is the herb you want to put in the bank, the money bank, your apothecary. But before we get started, there's a few things. Uh, first, please like and subscribe and hit the bell button. Comment and check out my description down below. My description has a link right there. It is my link tree, which links to everything that is me. And that includes my newsletter, uh, Mountain Rose Herb, which is a great, great place to buy your bulk herbs, my Etsy shop, my home herbalist course. That is a wonderful program. And I have a bunch of other things in there, including some books that I wrote and uh, you can find them on Amazon. So I have my herb of Monday, my Monday herb, and I'm gonna share that, but I'm also gonna pull a card and this will be our partner herb for the herb of Monday, Money Monday, which is Echinacea. So I'm gonna share that. First, I'm gonna shuffle these cards. They can be found on Mountain Rose Herb, which is in my link tree. They are botanical cards, they're so beautiful. And they, um, on the back of the card is the Latin, uh, the Latin name and also characteristics. They are called Herbs and Medicinal Plants Knowledge Cards from the Academy of Natural Sciences. And I bought them from Mountain Rose Herbs. So I love botanical drawings of plants. I worked at one point at a museum in Vermont and they had the fortune of, it was a, it was a house museum. So I love old, old buildings. Uh, my, the one I'm in right now is over 200 years old, my, my herb building, my herb shop. And uh, they had all of this artwork from a family, especially one particular family member who did botanical herb drawings. And it was a fabulous experience um, categorizing and researching and looking at her art. So here we go. I'm going to pick a card. Normally I spread them out on the table, so I'm just shuffling and pick something randomly and I'm going to hold it up to you. This is our herb for the day on the card, camphor. Cinnamum camphora. Okay. This is an evergreen tree, grows to 40 feet in height, less commonly to 100 feet. Flowers greenish white or yellowish April through June. Fruit matures September to November, native to China, Korea, and Japan, cultivated in tropical areas. Oil of camphor is dissolved in alcohol, oil, or vinegar, and is used as a liniment to relieve muscle soreness and a remedy and uh, to, ache, to aches and pains associated with colds, rheumatism, and contusions. The wooden leaves of camphor tree contain the volatile, colorless, highly flammable camphor oil. Most of the commercially available oil is extracted by steam from the wood of the tree. Camphor wood is valued in interior design and cabinetry. It takes a high polish and it repels insects naturally. So, Last time I pulled a card from the botanical deck was last week and it was an herb that I do not use and I'm not very familiar with. Um, again, only familiar with uh, products that I don't make that contain this in as far as liniments. So this paired with echinacea, two good herbs for this time of year. Camphor, uh, easing, aches and pains, rubbing on the chest for colds, um, warming the body, echinacea, giving the body and the immune system 
extra support. So let me let me move to Echinacea here. So this is Echinacea, has been dried from the summer purple cone flower. Echinacea is a wonderful herb. The Latin for Echinacea is Echinacea angustifolia. So I'm referring to this book. You may have seen it, The Lost Book of Herbal Remedies. I will link it down below over to Amazon by Dr. Nicola Pellian. It is a very good, I would say beginner herb book, but I am not a beginner and I like, like it very much. So Echinacea is the purple cone flower, and I'll show you a picture because maybe you are not familiar with it. Where, let me see, right there. Many, many people have it growing in their gardens and, and probably do not know its uh, medicinal virtues. Excuse me. So Echinacea, especially the root, is, is strange because it has this tingling effect. If you have good pure Echinacea, it will tingle your tongue. Echinacea is um, a plant that I use in the temporary. So let's say you um, are trying to prevent a cold. I would take it in prevention for one to two weeks and then stop. Or if you already have come down with one, with one for two weeks, stop at least a week for a break and then restart it. It is not what I would call a tonic herb that I'm taking on a daily basis, like something like alfalfa or nettles, which are nutritive. So I wanna share some other great benefits of echinacea and I, I refer to my handy dandy books. <laughs> so this herb, echinacea, is very much known for um, its effect on the immune system. It helps the body naturally for the immune system, encouraging the body to work more effectively. And I have seen this time and time again. Two of the great herbs that work together, echinacea and golden seal, are often paired up in cold and flu kind of remedies. So it's interesting that camphor came up as the card pulled. Now, this is not something that... Um, is typically used internally, but paired externally with a rub. Rubs are great or salves are great in the wintertime, especially for opening up the chest and, and breathing. Um, herbs like to be paired. They like to be in more than pairs, like in, in combinations of five, six, seven, eight different herbs. They work together synergistically. Echinacea is antibacterial and antiviral. It is also anti-pain relieving, or not anti-pain relieving, pain relieving and anti-inflammatory. There is some concern that if you have an autoimmune disease to avoid echinacea, so I just wanna make that known. So the leaves, the flowers, the petals, this part of the plant can be used to make tincture or to make tea. Um, the, purple flower, the purple flower petals are beautiful and perfect in tea blends. The root is often used to make the tincture. It's stronger, has more of that tingling, but I have made tincture with the flower tops as well. According to Dr. Nicole, echinacea can be wonderful for urinary tract infections because of its antimicrobial effects. Cold and flus, like I mentioned, people who are um, working over colds and flus have been known to heal and repair and regenerate more quickly when taking echinacea. It says here that it um, four days faster than those who do not. And this holds true with elderberry. If you're taking elderberry syrup, again, four days faster for re uh, body uh, rehabilitation. And I've known, noticed this myself. I used to think when I first got 
um, into herbs and becoming an herbalist that I was going to prevent every kind of illness and, and just be on top of everything. And what I found is I couldn't stop or prevent, but we always uh, got over everything much faster, much easier than other people. Another way to use echinacea, it can be relieving to the body uh, with allergies, especially helpful for asthma attacks. It doesn't cure asthma, but it reduces the severity of the attack. It can be useful for treating bronchitis. Uh, for infections, burns, wounds, and as an antifungal, echinacea is a natural plant antibiotic, antifungal, antiviral, and it stimulates the immune system. So topically in a salve, an ointment, or also as a tincture internally. And this is something I found to be really interesting. And I learned this a long time ago that uh, the native, now I don't know which exact tribe, many, probably many tribes use the, this plant this way, but echinacea can be a temporary antidote for a snake bite, especially it probably was more than temporary if you were a Plains Indian and there, there was no hospital to get to. But um, if you are in an emergency scenario, and I often say to people who are hiking long term to take um, vials, <laughs> bottles of echinacea with you. So it is used and helpful for spider bites and insect stings. And like I said, it has been useful for snake bites. Dr. Christopher would say that if you had a two ounce bottle of echinacea tincture with alcohol and you drank that whole bottle, if you were bit by a venomous snake, that it basically would save your life until you were able to get emergency help. So really, really good for an emergency pack kit when you're going out in the wilderness um you always want to be prepared in those situations mm, so there is the plant today echinacea one of my favorite most beautiful plants in the summertime it's like the peak of summer i want to say july like when it's the best warmest part of the of the summer and all the purple cone flowers are out and sunning themselves so put that put that herb in your money bank <laughs> put that herb in a jar buy it mountain rose herb in the in my link tree get yourself four ounces eight ounces one pound of echinacea <laughs> keep it on hand add it to other tea blends um goes great with peppermint chamomile nettle um spearmint make yourself a nice immune tea for this cold time coming up so thank you so much come again soon